What's in the box? Come on, Somerset, tell me, what's in the box? I'm sorry, guys, that was a terrible Brad Pitt impression. I tried my best, um, but I, I, th that, that line is awesome. That is one of the best lines in this movie. I literally watched this movie for the first time last night, and I texted my friend after I watched it. I'm like, hey, man, this movie I just watched it was so awesome. Have you ever seen it before? It, it was great. What, what are your thoughts on it? He literally texted me back in capital letters, what's in the box? You know, obviously referring to the fact that he has seen it. Um, so that's how awesome that line is. I love it. Anyway, with that being said, hey there guys, what's up? It's Autobot Mike 18 here with a another movie review, but this isn't my regular type movie review. As you guys can tell, I'm reviewing an older movie. Um, I'm gonna I'm doing a new segment on my channel though, guys, which I am going to explain. So just I'm gonna introduce the film I'm reviewing, and then I'm gonna describe the new segment I'm doing on my channel over the summer. But as of right now, um, yes, guys, as you can tell by the title of the video and by that line I just quoted from this movie. In this video, I am going to be reviewing Seven. Now, Seven is a 1995 crime thriller drama film that was directed by David Fincher. It stars Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman, Gwyneth Paltrow, Arlie Ermey, and a few other important actors, a few actors um, that I'm not going to mention right now. And, um, yes, it, was in, it came out in 1995, and a lot of you obviously want to know why am I reviewing a film that came out in 1995. Well, I'm going to get into the review, guys. I just want to take a minute of your time to explain a new segment I'm going to be doing on my channel over the summer. Now, as many of you guys know, I will get to the review right after I do this, but as many of you guys know, there are a lot of older films that have come out, um, obviously over the years, a lot of older classic films that I've never seen before in my lifetime, and a lot of you are asking me, what are your thoughts on this movie, what are your thoughts on that movie, and I can't give you my thoughts on these certain movies because I haven't seen them yet. So over this summer, guys, I'm doing a new segment on my channel called Old Movie Reviews, and when I mean old movie reviews, that could mean I'm reviewing films that came out in 2012, for that matter. When I mean old movies, I mean movies that just aren't new. You know, when, when I mean new movies, I mean movies that come out, like, next week, or movies that just came out a few weeks ago. Old movies are movies that have come out in the last couple of years, last, uh, even, could be 50 years ago, who knows. But I am going to be reviewing a lot of films that I've never seen before. As you guys know, I've been recently buying a lot of films on Blu-ray that I've never seen before, namely the Complete Godfather trilogy. I recently picked up Inception, which I've never seen before, uh, Goodfellas, um, a lot of Scorsese movies, a lot of Hitchcock movies, there are even a few Steven Spielberg movies I haven't seen. I'm going to be reviewing an old movie at least once every single week. Uh, I'll try to do one a week. Some weeks I may not do one. Some weeks, some weeks I may do two. Who knows? I'm going to watch uh, at least one of these old movies a week. I'm going to watch it, write my thoughts down on the movie, and review it for you guys. Because a lot of these movies are classics, and a lot of these are very critically acclaimed, and you guys love these movies. A lot of these films are some of the best films of all time. So I want to review them, watch them, and give you my thoughts on them. And um, now, Seven was the first film I decided to watch. There are a lot of David Fincher films I'm also trying to catch up on. And um, after, when I first watched Seven, I thought to myself, eh, I'm probably going to watch it, enjoy it for what it is, and never review it, okay? Then, after watching Seven, I told myself, I have got to review this movie. I literally watched Seven for the first time last night, and it is without a doubt one of the best thrillers I have ever seen in my life. I love this movie and I am giving it its, uh, the score that I am giving it because uh, based off of one viewing. I watched this movie one time last night and I love it. I am already highly recommending it to you guys. So I'm going to do these movie reviews like I would a normal movie review but um, I'm going to do them a little bit shorter. Obviously this video is going to be long because I had to explain what my old movie review segment was going to be. But I'm going to try to keep these reviews generally shorter than normal. Um, and this first one I'm going to be doing is, of course, Seven. So, guys, getting into the plot behind Seven, I'm going to basically sum up the premise. Seven is a film that takes place in this very uh, crime-infested and also rain-infested city uh, where crime is at a complete high. Literally everyone is getting murdered at least once once an hour in this city, okay? Like, th that's how bad the crime is in this city. I'm obviously being a little overdramatic, but, you know, you get the point. Crime happens a lot in this city, a lot of murders, and it's always raining, you know? The mood is always very dim and very depressing in this type of city. 
and the film centers on two detectives who are trying to solve a case of this serial killer who is going around killing his victims, basing off each murder on one of the seven deadly sins. And as we all know, the seven deadly sins are, I'm going to try to do them without looking at the, try to name them without looking at the back, gluttony, pride, wrath, envy, lust, um, I forget them. Uh, greed and sloth, okay? Those are the seven deadly sins, and each murder represents one deadly sin. Obviously, he's going to commit seven murders by the end of the movie to represent each deadly sin. Now, our two detectives in the movie are played by Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. Brad Pitt plays a young detective who's, who's often hot-tempered and very impatient. He wants answers like pronto. And Morgan Freeman plays a detective who is uh, going to retire in a few days. And he's very quiet, not necessarily laid back. You know, he obviously wants to get the job done, but he has a lot more experience on his shoulders. And they need to find out who this serial killer is, and they need to bring him to justice uh, because he's going around kill all, killing all these people. And even though this is, you know, he's killing them very gruesomely, He's doing it, and his whole plan, everything is all planned out, and it's all geniusly planned out. I have to admit, this is a very smart serial killer, okay? Nine times out of ten, a serial killer knows what they're doing, even though I'm not condoning serial killing. I am not. But anyway, guys, Seven, like I said, is one of the best thrillers I've ever watched. Not only because I, you know, I cared for the detectives and I rooted for them and I wanted to find, I wanted them to find out who the serial killer was, but by the end of the movie, when we find out who the serial killer is, I actually, you know, understood the point of the serial killer and why he was committing all these murders, why he was basing them off of the seven deadly sins. I thought the writing was pretty balanced, in my opinion, in terms of the detectives and the serial killer. I started to, not support both, but, you know, you get what I mean. Um, I started to want to, you know, favor, I started to favor both sides to the story. And I like whenever a thriller can do that. And, and despite from the fact that this film has one of the craziest uh, most genius endings I've ever seen in a film. Despite that crazy ending scene, there are a lot of other really great intense scenes. This thriller really brought back those feelings of tension that I have when I watch a really good thriller. And that's what I felt while I was watching Seven. That's what I really liked about the movie. Now getting into a few... Um, now, getting into the performances, just going to briefly glaze over them. Like I said, the movie stars Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman, Gwyneth Paltrow, Arlie Ermey, and also Kevin Spacey, who I'm not going to really talk too much about because his character was very important in the film, and I don't want to give away what his character does. But getting into Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman, I've never been a huge fan of Brad Pitt, personally. Uh, I've seen a few of his movies, like here and there, but I probably need to see a few more of his movies, like Fight Club, I still got to watch, I still got to watch Benjamin Button. But Seven is probably the best performance I've seen him give so far from what I've seen him. I haven't seen a lot of Brad Pitt movies, keep in mind. He was so good in this movie. He not only really shined in that final scene for that specific reason, I'm not going to spoil anything, guys. Believe me, I want you to go into this movie completely blind, 100% blind. But, you know, he really portrayed that hot-tempered, impatient detective very well, in my opinion. And you could tell that the weight of the case was really starting to get on him and his marriage with Gwyneth Paltrow and his life. Even Gwyneth Paltrow, there was a scene, there's a scene she has in the movie with Morgan Freeman, and you really start to understand her character and her position. She actually, even though she wasn't in the film that much, she had something important to do in the film. Her purpose was there and it was important. Now, of course, I'm going to get into Morgan Freeman, who is just a phenomenal actor. I've seen him in a couple movies. This is one of his better roles, without a doubt, even though he's good in everything he's in. Uh, Morgan Freeman, I don't think has ever given a bad performance, but um, I, I love Morgan Freeman. Oh, Morgan Freeman. John Doe has the upper hand. Um, I'm quoting another line from this movie. Um, but he is so good in this movie, playing that quiet detective who has a very important backstory. I really started to care for Morgan Freeman's character. He definitely had a certain amount of depth to him, and there was something that happened in the past. You could tell the weight of this case definitely got on him and that wasn't only that the fact that he's been living in the city for so long for like 30 something years he's been a cop slash detective for all this time he's never really had to use his gun but he's seen so many things you can tell all of that weight is on him and the case really starts to get to him in, in one scene in particular at night he, he takes his switchblade and starts throwing it at his dartboard and you can tell that this is starting to get to him and he needs to solve and crack this case which is going to be one of his last cases and he's got to find the serial killer now real briefly Kevin Spacey, who makes uh, a sort of brief appearance in this movie, I'm not going to spoil anything, but there is a scene between him, Morgan Freeman, and Brad Pitt that is 
unforgettable, in my opinion. He was so good in this one scene, and it, it's due to one of his character attributes. His character, this is, there's something going on with his character. I can't say what it is. You guys will know what you're talking about. Know what I'm talking about if you've seen the movie. But he just he, he just plays this character, this one character, excellently, and that's all I'm gonna say. Now I'm gonna finally get into my rating. One reason why I love this movie so much is without a doubt because of its director. And I knew this movie was gonna be good because of its director, David Fincher. I've seen Panic Room and The Social Network. Two movies that I really loved, and I knew Seven was going to be great. And so far, this is arguably my favorite Fincher film so far. Um, like I said, guys, I really loved this movie for a multitude of reasons. I'm going high with this rating, guys. A lot of you may disagree. Some of you may have had many problems with the movie. But as of right now, the movie's still fresh in my head, which is probably why I'm going so high. But I may go lower in the end. Who knows? I may change my opinion down the road. But as of right now, I'm sticking with this rating. I'm going all the way with 7. I am going complete 10 out of 10. A plus for 7. This is a basically a masterpiece, in my opinion, for a thriller. It takes... It is not only very tense, but it's one of those thrillers that makes you think. It isn't predictable. It is. It doesn't have a crappy ending. It, it is, without a doubt, the ending is completely opposite from a crappy ending. It makes you think. It keeps you on the edge of your seat. It keeps you guessing. It makes you care for both characters, the two detectives and the serial killer. You understand the motives for the serial killer. The writing is excellent. The directing, all of that is perfect. I can't wait to talk more in depth. I'm going to really, right now, discuss my only flaw I had with the film. It was basically in one or two scenes. Scenes. It felt a little slow. Other than that, other than those scenes, the editing was perfect. The film was excellently paced, in my opinion. Very fast-paced uh, thriller, in my opinion. It really picks up about midway into the movie when they get closer and closer to finding out who this serial killer is. But other than that, the writing is just excellent. Not only is that climax just jaw-dropping, emotional, and just completely, it's it's a big what the f moment. Okay, one of the big, one of the best climaxes slash endings I've ever seen in a movie, hands down. Not, that's not the only good thing about the writing, though. It's a thriller that is consistent with the thrills. There was literally two scenes where I jumped because of loud gunfire, and another scene that actually creeped me out, and it felt so good to feel those things as I was watching this movie. Um, writing was excellent. The, the, just the plan of this serial killer and his motives and everything, just each murder that he has done. I'm not condoning serial killers, but it was genius. I have to admit it. The acting was all perfect. Morgan Freeman is excellent. Just transfixes every single role he's given. Just makes you care for his character so much. And I just really... Um, uh, bought the chemistry between Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt who was also really good in the movie. Excellent role for him. Uh, the rest of the cast was great. Kevin Spacey was excellent. Um, David Fincher is excellent when it comes to when he sits in that director's chair. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to direct these actors. He knows how to evoke emotion. He knows how to make a scene dark and depressing or gritty. He knows how to do that and he does that excellently with Seven. The cinematography was excellent. The film was so well edited, so fast paced in my opinion. The, uh, like I said, the cinematography was great. The score by Howard Shore was excellent in the final climatic ending scene of the film where everything is revealed, the, uh, the serial killer's um, final deed is done. That score in that scene is just excellent. It sticks in your head. I still hear it in my head playing right now as, as I'm talking. It is that memorable in my opinion. It's the dun, dun. Done. It, it sounds a lot better than the sound I'm making, but you get the point. It is an excellent score throughout the whole movie. Consistent. This movie was consistent with the thrills, with the shocks, with the... Oh, and that ending scene. Who can forget that ending scene? It was just excellent. It was genius. I applaud the writers, not only for the whole film, but also for that ending scene, that shock. It, the back of the the back of the freaking Blu-ray says gut wrenching climax. I absolutely agree. This is one of the most memorable ending scenes in movie history, in my opinion, and one of the best thrillers we've ever had. Without a doubt, goes to seven. Um, it just it makes sense. It just it is just so good. All right, I know I'm I'm sugarcoating it. I'm hyping this movie up so much because I just watched it, but I really do love this movie. It's a classic thriller, in my opinion. It's got that classic. 
you know, like 70s thriller feel to it in several shots that are in the movie. Cinematography is great, and I just love it, guys. Uh, 10 out of 10, give it my highest praise. I really, really love it, and I highly recommend it to you guys. So, guys, if you did see 7, what did you think about it? Let me know down below. What are your thoughts on the movie? Is it one of your favorite thrillers? Give me all of your thoughts on it. And also let me know on what you think about the fact that I'm doing this new segment on my channel, Old Movie Reviews. This is the first one. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys stick with me as I keep doing Old Movie Reviews throughout the whole entire summer of 2014. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.